All right, one of the questions we've been getting a lot is, how do we get ranked on ChatGPT, right? And we know for looking for your plumbing, HVAC, electrical company, most of your customers, I mean, I'm talking about the line line share, right now are going to Google and they're typing in, you know, your city plus plumber, plumbers near me, plumbing contractor in my area, right? And we've got the organic listings and the map listings, everything that come up. What we've also seen though, is that more and more consumers are going to ChatGPT, right? And they might go to ChatGPT and type something like, you know, best plumbers in, right? I spelled Danbury wrong, so it's probably gonna spawn an incorrect result. So there you go. It, it actually did, it's best plumbers in Dansbury, Connecticut, right there. You've got Carmines, which is the company we work with. Um, and you'll see they come up well in maps, they come up well organically, but then they also come up over here in, in ChatGPT. And what I've, what I've found is, I personally use ChatGPT for a lot of research and to shortcut things, uh, but my wife also, um, you know, if she's looking for a local hair salon, a local provider, she's going to ChatGPT more and more. So we wanna make sure we're coming up for these searches. Let's just type best plumbers in Danbury. And sometimes you'll, you'll see that it actually populates a map-like result, which is pretty cool and pretty interesting. Uh, let's see if it does it in this particular search. Nope, still Carmine's coming up as an organic. Let's type in uh, best plumbers, Fargo, and D, right? It's interesting that it, it, it kind of rotates the results and it rotates the information that it serves. Uh, but again, you know, you, you know, most people are doing this from their mobile device and they'll type, they'll actually speak to the, the, the platform and say, hey, I'm looking for a, a plumber in you know, Danbury, Connecticut, who would you recommend, right? And more and more of this is happening on, on ChatGPT type searches. What, what this is referred to as is uh, generative engine optimization. Uh, generative engines are, are ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude. Uh, and, and so like in this particular search result, here we've got a map that comes up, right? And the company we work with in um, Fargo, North Dakota is, is Laney's. And what, what's cool is if we scroll, scroll down and we, we can look at the sources, what is it that this generative engine, ChatGPT, is looking at? Uh, it's looking at, you know, best pros in town. It's looking at best plumbers, looking at super pages. Uh, and we can even ask ChatGPT here. We can ask, you know, what did you use to uh, select these companies? Like, what was the, what was the criteria? And it will tell you, which is pretty interesting. It'll, it'll come right back in a couple of seconds here and it will tell us what it, you know, what it came up with. While that's pulling up, I just want to, I want to show you, you know, you know, here it is, best plumber in Danbury, Connecticut, which is a very common thing somebody might search or speak into ChatGPT. Carmine's Plumbing is the company we work with. It takes us straight to the Google map listing. So that tells us ChatGPT is referencing the Google map listing. We can easily call their number. We can easily, you know, actually get to their website. Uh, and we've got access to the information to choose this company. Uh, and, and then if we scroll down here and we look at the same thing on mobile for, for Laney's, right? We can, we can dial in and get to call them if we're on mobile, go to their website, get more information, bypassing Google and doing it all straight inside of ChatGPT. So what's the criteria that ChatGPT is looking at is, well, I'm looking at real-time search results, Google, business directors like Yelp, Angie, Home Advisor, um, the number of reviews the company has, their local verified presence, uh, longevity and experience. So there's lots of things that these search engines are looking at uh, to give this information. What we found is a lot of the key strategies we implement from an SEO perspective are exactly what these generative engines are looking for to place the right company, right? They're looking for the content on the website. Is it authoritative? Does it have location-based centric information? Is it, you know, is it authoritative? And then local SEO perspective, they're looking at the Google map listing. Do they have lots of citations? Do they have lots of reviews? Are their categories selected correctly? Uh, and so it's a combination really of local SEO, on-page SEO, and then just understanding the way the generative search engines work, uh, the more you can feed it frequently asked questions and answers to those questions, the higher probability you're gonna come up in the results for this. 
Um, let me know how you're coming up in chat, chat GPT searches today. Uh, again, it's not there yet, right? There's only a handful of people searching this, but I can tell you, I have personally got business like thousands of dollars in monthly recurring revenue from people that were looking for what we do in ChatGPT. And I would be surprised if this isn't happening in your home service business. And so being ahead of the curve, being one of the companies that actually comes up in search and working with an organization that's looking at this and trying to figure out like what are the right strategies, what are the unique bends to the way we need to structure your website, your off-page optimization, your local directory citations to improve the probability that you're coming up for these search terms so that you can get the leads, you can get the sales, and you can get the calls.